Hello everyone, this is uh, Shad Reis from CVI 2022. With me is Dr. Dimitri Fieldman. He's a professor of medicine at uh, Cornell uh, School of Medicine. Dimitri, always nice to see you. Oh, pleasure. Yeah. So we, we have a session about approach and management for iliac artery uh, interventions, which is considered for interventional cardiologists kind of uh, dangerous because of the can be catastrophic. So how we approach these lesions usually? Yeah, so we've had a terrific uh, session on management and approach to aortic iliac lesions. And um, one of the topics we discussed is the access to, to um, iliac lesions. And number one, you have to really prepare prior to taking on these lesions. So good imaging such as CTA or MRA prior to um, undergoing these procedures. Number two, in the procedure room, taking good images, um, both DSA and uh, non-subtracted images to, to evaluate where the lesion is, how long, looking at the CTOs closely, and then selecting your access based on the evaluation prior to and in the cath lab. So depending on what the angle of the aortic iliac arteries is, depending on whether the common femorals are disease, depending on whether the disease is unilateral or bilateral, depending on whether it involves osteal iliac arteries or not, all those points uh, go into sort of decision making yeah. whether you're going to need unilateral, bilateral, or maybe going up and over yeah. from brachial or radial. If we assume uh, or just focus on osteal lesions, what is the best approach for these lesions? Yeah, osteal lesions, particularly calcified lesions, you're going to probably use uh, kissing balloons, kissing stents, so you're going to need bilateral approach, so either bilateral uh, femoral or one femoral and one from above. I see, okay, and uh, usually you just put two wires, two balloons, and then you visually use 10. Exactly, so you can do, you know, simultaneous wires from bilateral common femorals, uh, and then kissing balloons or stent, or one side from common femoral, one from brachial radial, mm -hmm. and then do the kissing balloons right. and stents. In terms of stenting, uh, balloon expanding versus self-expanding, want to pick one and what's the advantage? Yeah, it's been a topic of discussion and, and um, so balloon expandable will uh, offer you a little bit more precise positioning, okay, more radial force. So for osteal common iliac disease, for calcified disease, probably better. Mm -hmm. For external iliac, self-expanding stents may be better. And also covered stents also go into the equation for very calcified types task CD lesions, probably cover stents may be more beneficial. Uh, and this is, uh, how about the cover stent? Are you worried about covering any branches or how is that also, how do you position it? That's a terrific question. I mean, absolutely, you have to think about whether the branches are there, especially if one branch is already closed on one side. Yes. So you want to avoid putting cover stents uh, across the uh, internal Internally, iliacs yeah. and things like that, but yes. Absolutely. Well, well uh, how about imaging? Is there any role? We talk about a lot of imaging in the coronary space. Is there a role for imaging for the peripheral space as well? Absolutely. So pre-procedural imaging for iliacs is key. You know, for femoral popliteal uh, arteries, you can use ultrasound more frequently. But for iliacs, you really want to understand the anatomy before starting a case, so CTA or MRA. But you're also referring to intra-procedural I, yeah. uh, imaging such as IVIS. Um, very helpful, especially determining where the lesion is, what the lesion composition is, and what the size of the vessel. So you can you can actually size your balloons and Perfectly stents appropriately. Sizing. Yeah. Well, Dimitri, thank you so much for the insight on the important topic. And yet, it's can sometimes, as I mentioned, challenging for interventional cardiologists. But again, knowing the anatomy, what you are walking into, and that will determine your approach. Of course, always a pleasure. Thank you. So watch these videos and others on CVI YouTube channel. This is Shad Reyes from Denver, Colorado. Dimitri, thank you so much again. Thank you.